Good evening. This is May 28th, and this would be a Saturday evening. We're going to talk about, briefly, what has been happening the last two or three days. Unfortunately, it can at times take a few days to figure out what's going on, at which time you've already passed through the waters, but we've been in very heavy warfare, very heavy, a type of warfare that would seek to kill the saints of the Most High. Now, what that has to do with what's been going on the last two or three days is the relationship of the conjunction that's been happening. Uh, it, tomorrow morning, Sunday, will end this conjunction, which has been a three-day conjunction. Now, early on, oh, I'd say about 20 years ago, the Lord began to teach us about what occurs when there is a planetary conjunction. And um, it's a lining up of energy that releases in the spirit either a flow of, of good uh, spirits or of uh, dark, uh, dark energy. And uh, you just, up until recently, I didn't really know which way it would go. But having passed through this most recent time of conflict, it becomes very evident that when you hit a conjunction, you either feel a moving of the presence of the Lord that begins to really touch you deeply, or you feel all hell break loose against you. That pretty much is the uh, the marker in the road. The sons of God are in a constant conflict, and it will only increase. This is the time, and the Lord has spoken concerning this topic a number of times, of what is coming and what is not yet here, but will begin to have a bearing uh, on the saints of light. And I would say this has definitely had an ongoing and growing bearing to all of us. It's, it's interesting because the release of the demonic entities into the earth is... Well, it, it it is interesting because they're immediately um, seeking out the light and going and uh, um, um, countering it, you might say. And that would be you, you and I. So, the response that I have for all of this is simply one thing. They don't know who they're dealing with. We, not be, we may not be finished yet. We may not be perfected and refined, but we've grown to enough of a knowledge of who Christ is in us and who we are that we will not take the accusations and the lies and the intimidations and the hatred uh, that would be channeled against us in the spirit. I would say this, if the entities are dumb enough to come out against the saints of light, then the saints of light, this will simply be a, a mop-up operation 
because we will pursue judgment. And these entities coming into the earth plane are going to be met with judgment. And the spirit of the light, the Lord, it's very simple. We're not out to prove anything. We're not out to uh, be something that we're not. Uh, we're not insecure about what God has spoken, even though the, the words have been very great. We're s simply said at one point, you come out against me, and you will be met with immediate judgment, it says the Lord. So this has just been a, a little bit of a window of time. When we hit these, what I would call windows, I, we're oftentimes finding ourselves dealing with multiple or alternate realities. And let me explain that to you briefly. We've talked about it before. The Lord says, In my Father's house are many dwelling places. There are many different levels occurring at the same time and overlapping. So depending upon the level of spirit that you are abiding upon can determine the level of reality that you perceive. Uh, it, it's not limited to that. But that is very feasible. Because God is in the process of bringing down the illusion, the lies of the enemy, all of that which has come to abort the manifesting of the sons of God, of you and I. And so we stand. It doesn't matter what reality wants to present itself. Our reality is based upon the truth of his word. That is our reality. And the more we give ourselves to him, the more this reality will superimpose over, over every other reality. And the Lord will move more and more deeply into the takeover of the kingdom of God. Anyway, we'll call it quits here for this evening. We bless all of you. Just know that you've been tracking with us in this battle and fight at the end of the ages. This is Edward and Anne, sonsofgod.com. Amen.